Right now at 4.30, CBS 2 exclusive. Chicago police officer Carlos Yanez Jr. is sharing his story in his first sit-down TV interview. He was seriously injured in a shooting during a traffic stop in Englewood more than 10 months ago that killed his partner. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno live for us in the Clearing neighborhood. Suzanne? Jim Marie, I'm at Brotherhood of the Fallen. It's an organization that's dedicated to helping the families of fallen officers around the nation. Now, the founder of this organization has started a podcast. It's called Served Twice by Choice. Well, Carlos Yanez Jr. is going to be among the very first guests on that podcast. And I had the opportunity to speak with him exclusively before today's taping to find out what his life is like now. Chicago police officer Carlos Yanez Jr. was shot during a traffic stop with his partner, Officer Ella French, on August 7th of last year. French died from her injuries. Not only was she beautiful on the outside, she was beautiful on the inside. Yanez was shot four times in the head and once in the shoulder. You know, all the bullets are still in me. He says he doesn't remember much about that night. Yanez would lose his right eye. His doctor told him he would never move the left side of his body. He told his doctor. I was like, I accept the challenge. This is video of Yanez dancing with his wife Brenda on St. Patrick's Day of this year after doing physical therapy three times a week along with aqua therapy since last October. I was fortunate enough that uh, you know, I never had to go to bed alone in the hospital. Every night she was there. Yanez says the support of his family, his brothers and sisters in blue, along with total strangers, has truly helped him on his road to recovery. He also says that he definitely defied the odds. The officer who was told he would never use the left side of his body now uses a walker 10 minutes at a time and a wheelchair as needed as he continues his road to recovery. In clearing, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, thank you for bringing us his story. A Chicago-based organization that supports the families of fallen police officers is honoring a Texas officer who's had to overcome a challenge like almost no one else. Zach Brisenio is one of three police officers in the United States who is a double amputee. The Marine lost both of his legs when his Humvee went over an IED in Iraq in 2007. He made walking again his goal, and he never gave up. My kids ended up being one of my huge motivating factors is what does it show them if I give up, you know, later on in life, if they're ever faced with anything, do they give up or do they at least try? You know, so that's what I want to be for them. He's a veteran. He's a first responder. And um, what he went through is, and his personality is amazing. To honor Bersenio, that group called the Brotherhood for the Fallen brought him to Chicago. Mm. They got him some of the city's famous mm -hmm. pizza, took him to a Cubs game. He was even on the big scoreboard. Bersenio will be a guest on the podcast Serve Twice by Choice, started by the founder of that Brotherhood for the Fallen, to tell stories of those who've served in the military and as first responders.